Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another action movie night. Tonight I will be reviewing Krull, released in 1983, directed by Peter Yates from a script by Stanford Sherman, starring Ken Marshall, Bessette Anthony, Freddie Jones, Alan Armstrong, David Batley, Bernard Breslau, Liam Neeson, Dickon Ashworth, Todd Carthy, Robbie Coltrane, and John Welsh. Now in this film, a hero by the name of Colwyn, played by Ken Marshall, is uh, in a romantic relationship with uh, this beautiful princess, Lissa, played by Lisette Anthony. Um, until this alien being shows up and steals her away from him and kills a lot of the people in his um, village and injures him badly. He recovers from his injuries and plans to go rescue the princess. But not before he goes and gets a special weapon to take on this beast. Now this weapon that he finds is like a combination of a throwing star with a bunch of blades on it. And it is just such a cool looking weapon and it has multiple different things that is used for you know on top of throwing it and then you know and then it being like a boomerang it comes back to its user and everything that's a cool way that it's used but it's also used in a way where he holds it up and and light uh flashes out of it and everything and stuff like that but it is just a cool weapon and uh it's it's almost like the uh Peter Yates and uh the writer um Stanford Sherman came up with this cool ass weapon and they said let's come up with some fantasy where we can put this weapon in there and then they just came up with a story based on, around that weapon because that weapon is the key to this movie i mean it is it makes this film it is just such a badass looking weapon um and it, and it even, you know ken marshall is pretty dull playing colwyn but having that weapon makes him the coolest guy around just because of how cool that weapon is um now he is surrounded by a group of uh characters that he teams up with in this outlaw group they're led by Alan Armstrong's Torquil. And uh, a lot of them, you know, not, not many of them, but there, there's some of the members of this group, notably Liam Neeson as Keegan and Robbie Coltrane as Rune, who really stand out in this group because they would end up going on to become future, you know, bigger stars and stuff. Um, and Liam Neeson really stands out in this just because of, not only because we, you know, he still gives a great performance, even though this was an early performance for him, but he also has one of the coolest, you know, characters out of these outlaws. He's got multiple wives and women around throughout the story. And it's just, that, that is just, that just makes him one of the most uh, interesting and comically funny uh, variations of a character to have that on him. Um, makes him really stand out amongst all the other um, outlaws that are helping um, Colwyn. Um, but another character helps him. Freddie Jones's Yanir um, helps him in this, and he, he's really good in his performance. Um, this is one of those stories where do not, you know, take the plot seriously and just think of it as a fun fantasy film, and you'll have a lot of fun with it. 
John Welsh plays the seer in here that is helping them for a while. And uh, about, I'd say, midway into the, into the film, one of the beast's shapeshifters kills him and then makes himself look like the seer and tries to lead them in the wrong direction and everything. They eventually see through this and they end up having to kill him all over. So this, this character basically almost gets two death scenes in this film. He gets killed by the shapeshifter and he gets killed by his own people, um, kind of. Is, but it is, it is, uh, and these shapeshifters also try to do the same thing with, uh, trying to fool, uh, Colwyn and, uh, do some, uh, female shenanigans to, uh, show that he's not worthy of being with Lissa. And she's able to watch this happen as it happens and everything. It's just, you know, all the fantasy elements of it, if you look at them as, this is unrealistic, this is stupid, you know, you're not going to enjoy it. But if you look at it as a, just a fun fantasy, it's a different story, um, you might be able to enjoy it and uh, have some fun with it. Uh, like I said, the the adventure that Colwyn goes on here, Ken Marshall isn't exactly really exciting as the hero, but like I said, that weapon just makes him cool as hell. And he's surrounded by all these really great actors like um, Freddie Jones, Liam Neeson, Robbie Coltrane, and everything. Now, one character that irked the hell out of me and pissed me off a lot in this film, and uh, um, I don't, I wish they hadn't had him in there, was David Batley's Argo. Now. This character is supposed to be this um, shapeshifter who can, you know, make himself into animals and stuff like that and everything. And every single time that this other cool character that's in this, um, Rel, the Cyclops, played by Bernard Breslau, shows up. He does this annoying ass pass out thing. And it might have been funny the first time he did it, but they do it multiple times throughout the movie. And it just gets redundant. Um, but I really liked uh, Bernard Breslau's um, Cyclops in here. He was, he, he was coolly designed. He looks really interesting as a character. Just like the Beast. The Beast itself... Uh, looks really great and is a great design for a villain. So my final review of Krull from 1983. I'm going to give this film a 8.3 out of 10. Um, I've always had a soft spot for this film ever since I saw it when I was a kid. Um, the only thing that brings this one down and makes it not in the nines is the character of Argo, how annoying he is. Because I really love all the other characters and everything in this. They're very, uh, very good group of characters. Um, but what do you guys think of Krull? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in those comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. As a Dark Knight fan, you have the option on the channel right now, if you were a Plus member, to go on there, suggest a movie, TV show, or a ranking video. And when I do it, it'll go up on the plus area for all plus members to see prior to it going live on the channel. So if you want to be interactive, now is a good time. Well, that's it for another action movie night. If you missed last week's action movie night, check out the link above to get caught up on that one. And if you've missed any other videos, check out this down here where you can watch a playlist of any of our action movie nights that you have missed.